Hey everybody, Rick here, Arizona High Desert Homestead. And if you saw my last video, that was with the Renogy Lycan 5000, which ironically is sitting right here. Uh, that sucker is being picked up on Friday. I don't want it back. Uh, go back to that video. I might even put the link in if you want to. I do not trust the Lycan. Anyways, so what we're going to do now for my son is hook up this grow watt system. We've got the three kilowatt grow watt inverter charger all in one package it's very simple i just got to take this off and then to power it i've got two 48 volt lithium lipo cores whatever you want to call it server rack batteries in here the eg force or ec4 i think eg force got these from signature solar and all in all, it's simple, simple setup. So, all right, I'm gonna start opening that up and then we'll get into more detail. Stay tuned. Okay, so I got the cover off and AC output is right here, down in there. Okay, that's pretty basic. Um, AC input. I want to wire a generator into it right up here um, for the solar panels it comes right through here into here imagine po yeah positive negative okay then the batteries cable going through here and you can, I'm sure you can see that and pretty basic very basic the thing I like about this is you can parallel these this is a three kilowatt model you can parallel these up to six which would give you 18 kilowatts 18,000 watts of continuous power we're not going to need that um, we got our kitchen building that has it will have its own system that i still have to hook up i just have to wait until we get there um, this is just for my son's house i was going to use it for mine um, but after that lichen fiasco I'm gonna let him use this and then I'm gonna order either another one or the uh, MPP solar Lycan LV65 uh, same same batteries though those server rack batteries you just can't beat them so make sure that doesn't fall off so I'm making a little building for this and we'll get this sucker set up hopefully today okay so with this grow watt I've got 12 pa uh, pallets, 12 solar panels up on my son's roof, um, and they're wired in series, three sets of four. Each solar panel is 30 amps, or not 30, 30 volts of the open voltage. So um, the voltage does not increase in series. Okay, so we're working on the grow watt. I've got 12 panels up on my son's roof. Uh, there's two on this side, and there is 10 on the other. I have them wired in series of four, three sets of four. The panels have an open voltage, and I, I tested each one, of 30 volts. So therefore, that's 120 volts. The grow watt uses or can have a maximum of 145 and the amps carry over after paralleling those three to 24 which is way yeah yeah it's more than under the limit so everything works good I've got this disconnect switch right there that I'm gonna put over here but I need I have the conduit Everything's good. I'm going to run the conduit down along there, but I need a joiner. And then we'll bury this here. Um, these batteries are awesome. These are the, I got these from Signature Solar. Uh, I'm not endorsed or anything by them. I just, I look at these batteries. They're 48 volt server rack batteries. And the models I have is the upgraded model that has the, uh, 
LCD screen here. Right now it's getting 4.5 amps. Uh, it's at 63%. Charge has gone up from 49 in just a little over an hour. Let's see. Um, each one is 100 amp hours. Uh, 5.1 kilowatt hours or 5,120 watt hours. A watt hour or a thousand watt hours is one kilowatt hour. So if you had something that used a thousand watts, um, it would use a thousand watts per hour. So, all right, the electrical box. So, yeah, I'm just we're going to be going to New Mexico this weekend uh, for something that we've been looking forward to over there. I'm going to grab that parts on the way back. So I think I'll be back and I can get this all finished. Um, then I'll run all my conduit um, with these wires and stuff. Get everything all nice and neat. I am going to order two more batteries because it's not only um, my son's house, but it also for our, our kitchen. We put hardy board behind it and above. Just a precaution. It's cheap. Um, and uh, what I've done, you know, what I've been working on, if I had to, is I have this Ames Power 48 volt charger. Uh, it'll charge 24, 36, and 48 volt. There's a setting on there, and I, and they also have other settings for type of batteries. And in my case, I'm using lithium. Uh, this thing works incredible. It charges 30 some, or close to yeah 30 amps if we were running a 24 volt it charges at 19 amps for 48 and I ran this oh it was at like 60 percent and I ran this for two hours and it filled it up you know that was almost that's probably good four kilowatt hours in just like an hour and a half yeah it wasn't even two hours it was like an hour and a half so yeah we'll get this all cleaned up nice this is just a work in progress but I highly recommend these batteries. I love these batteries if you're gonna use you know just regular 12 volt batteries um, and you're not and you don't want to use lithium I highly suggest the Victron gel batteries especially if you're in cold areas you know if you get cold winters those batteries I use those for my freezers I have three freezers and those batteries are still pumping along I've had them for over a year and well I hope they keep going they've been holding up very well so and then I still got to hook up the uh, grounding rods grounding wire and all that good stuff um, I got three quarter inch conduit and I got some half inch because uh, the three quarter conduit will not fit in that grow lot and as long as it keeps doing good like it's doing so we're running a, you know then I will you can run those in parallel so that's a 3,000 watt this is a big 27 cubic foot refrigerator freezer it's been doing very well um, so we'll be powering that be powering the, the dryer it's a gas dryer um, but you still gotta you know have power you know 110 for the the drum spin it around the washer um, the little bit for the stove for the electronics uh, it is set for propane we just haven't hooked it up yet and uh, some other appliances once we get the parallel hooked up for larger wattage things though I think I'm gonna wire you know I do need to wire some more outlets in here this used to be uh, somebody was gonna live in this and it was already drywalled so I just have to add in some outlets I'm just gonna get those boxes that just go on the wall and just stick them through um, but one of them I'm gonna wire to a generator with a remote start and that's for large wattage things like uh, the ninja foodie or microwave or bigger microwave you know like a 700 watt microwave is a smaller one that's just the output of the power it consumes around 11 to 1200 watts actually this the, when they rate the power on the microwaves that's your output power that's how much water is cooking whatever you have inside 
So I know I tested our 1100 watt before we moved off grid and it was taking, I want to say 1900 watts, which is a big draw, you know, and with only a 3000 watt inverter hooked up uh, with the fridge and all that, that's, that's too much. Now, if we had the two in parallel at 6,000, and of course the other two batteries would be fine. But you know, if you're just gonna use the microwave or something just for a little short time, I would much rather just use a little bit of gas until we get built up with a big system, you know. I, I'd like at least a 50 kilowatt system on each of our places. So, anyways, I think that's gonna wrap it up. Um, when I get uh, the one for parallel, I'll do something on that. Uh, the next one in this series will be the system I bought last year, kind of an impulse buy, and it was on sale. It was a Mr. POW 48 volt inverter. It had very high ratings. Um, it's 5,000 watt. It'll take up to 500 uh, voltage on an open circuit, which is incredible. So I'm going to hook up 20 panels of that right away, and I can still hook up more. It just all depends on how you hook up with series and parallel and stuff like that. Um, but my skills with this stuff have really improved over the last year on really understanding. You know, you get so overwhelmed at first, and, and if you're doing it, uh, don't, don't think down. It is very overwhelming. There's just so much information. Once you get into it, it's really quite simple, you know. So, anyways... It's doing good. It's pumping in. I, I got it around 90 volts right now. But then you got to remember, I got two of these panels on the west side. So it's going to get sun, you know, most of the day. The north is over a completely different direction. But so far, so good with this grow watt. It is the grow watt. Uh, let's see, 48 volt. Where's the 3,000 watts? Um, yeah, and it's only the 120 model. It just does not have 240. Um, they do have models like that. Um, I don't know about converting these to 240, so I'm not sure. But I know with the MPP Solar, which I plan on getting, if anything crashes, I'm, I'm going right to the MPP Solar LV6548. Um, they have 120 model and 240 model and you can parallel and just use the 240 off of one of them and that's what we'll use for the hot tub what's that you say yeah, I got the lid off of right now because of those high winds was about ready to rip it off but there she is it's got to wire it up just so many different things to do so I know it's a mess but it's all gonna be cleaned up and I will show the results of that in a future homesteading update video it's all right everyone thank you so much for watching uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And we got a lot more to come. A lot more. I've been here a year and a day now. So completely off grid. So everyone, hey, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And hit the notification bell. It'll let you know when i got more videos coming out. And if any of you need help, advice, anything, you know. I'm not an expert on, on, on it by any means. But I like to help people, so... All right, everyone, have a great day. Hit that thumbs up button, and we'll see you again soon. Take care.